Where, whereas you may have drank lots more in the past, you're going to find now that that's not a possibility. <laughs> So, um, so be really careful with your doses for alcohol while you're on the cleanse. And um, food-wise, you'll find that there's certain foods that you may want to reintroduce, but when your body tastes them, they're not going to like them. So really take your time with your foods. Listen to your body. When you take that first spoonful in, feel out how you feel. You're going to be way more sensitive than you've ever been after a cleanse because like I said your liver is now a virgin again <laughs> so you're a virgin again yay and um, and so you you want to listen you want to listen and not over consume foods even healthy foods sometimes when we're cleansing we've limited our size our, our portions of food and so then when you come off of the cleanse you're like overeating overeating and then that can cause you to have some strong cleansing reactions as well so too much of a good thing, sometimes not a good thing. So um, yeah, so take your time introducing foods. And this has been a valuable time to see what foods you may have allergies to because you've taken out so many foods. Maybe give yourself a chance to slowly integrate different food groups that you've taken out and then notice how your body responds to those foods. That way you can isolate the things that give you the most headaches, like for example, um, some cleansers I've noticed in the past that just from not eating bread for that amount of time, they realized their skin cleared up, their energy levels improved, and they were able to see that they sort of had a, a wheat gluten, wheat sensitivity. And so they took it out altogether. Once they were introduced, reintroduced those foods, they could see the body going back into those states and then they just took it out altogether. So this has been a really good space to clear the slate, so to speak, and get you in a, um, a pattern, a new pattern of eating, of living, that really energizes and nourishes you and protects you and it just furthers all of your health goals. So um, I think that that may be it. I just wanted to sort of touch on that if anyone has questions, as always, please go to the Facebook page. HO2 Cleanse is the name of the Facebook page. Um, I will have a link posted to that on my website very soon. But if you search HO2 Cleanse, you will see a like page that pops up. So like the page so that you can get the postings that come in. Go there, put your questions. I am answering questions that are there because I like for this information to be available to everyone so that your question can help everyone. And um, it's this community that I'd like to build with this program so that everyone is benefiting, whether they're participating in the actual herb portion of the cleanse or not. Um, again, I thank you for joining me in this process. It's been amazing. This group has been amazing. Starting on 12-12-12 was incredible. And going through to this Friday, the 21st, is also going to be amazing. So I hope you will go to the website, hariatma.com. See what's coming up. See what fits most into your life. Sign up for our newsletter and receive helpful tips, um, health as well as helpful tips for living and um, I hope to see all of you at some point in this lifetime so if not we'll connect virtually and we'll enjoy each other that way but I wish you the best week the best month the best winter solstice and the best 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 holidays peace love and light to you all thank you bye bye